then the, they came and told me that Dion had Down syndrome and he's going to be 37 tomorrow. I thought about Dion living in a group home, uh, but I would think about it and then the thought would go away and uh, it was a time to time situation where, you know, I know that I'm getting older now and I know um, that I need to think about it and not make a hasty decision should I become ill. I asked him, I said, you, would you like to live here? And, and he said, here. I said, this would be Dion's home. Would you like to live here? And Dion said, yes. Dion's home. I said, he said, yes. And I said, okay. And so I started looking into it and then um, got in touch with the regional center with my service coordinator. And, you know, I took this deep breath. You know, what did I just do? <laughs> because I was, it was happening so fast. I felt good about it, but you know, I was also kind of getting a little sad. Welcome to the Frank D. Lanterman Regional Center's video series. My name is Sherbui Ofsepian, Regional Manager of one of the school age units. In this video, we will provide information about options for adults who want to live independently in their community. We at Frank D. Lanterman Regional Center believe that people with developmental disabilities should participate in family life. However, when someone decides to move out of their family home, a high priority is placed on supporting adults living as independently as possible in their communities. Independent Living Services, or ILS, are provided by community-based programs vendored by the Regional Center. These programs provide support and functional training to adults who want to live in their own homes or apartments and need to develop skills such as money and household management. Generally, ILS training focuses on areas of daily living such as budgeting, shopping, health care, meal preparation, and the use of transportation. ILS can assist with locating appropriate housing, use of community resources, and other self-reliant skills that empower the client to be a part of their community. Supported Living Services, or SLS, are provided by vendors of the Regional Center. SLS vendors provide support and training to clients living in homes or apartments that they own or rent with available and supportive services to meet their clients' individual needs. One of the basic supported living concepts is that the services and supports a client receives changes as their needs change. Services are determined by the planning team for assistance with common daily living and routine household activities. Services are customized for each individual to meet needs that are identified in the individual program plan. So I'm now preparing to live on my own and I'm receiving services such as um, independent living skills. Their goal is to hopefully help me learn how to save money, how to rent an apartment or even buy my own house in the future. They're even going to help me do living, independent living skills such as like chores, um, hopefully organization skills and even managing time with two jobs. Um, hopefully that will help me in the future so I can live independently on my own. Licensed group homes in the community are available for individuals who require some specialized care such as nursing and or have significant needs in daily living or self-help skills. Group homes provide 24-hour care and supervision. And so we made another appointment, we brought dessert and he met the guys and that's how it came and it's just been awesome and the staff has been wonderful. There are two options for individuals living independently. SSI subsidies are allocated towards the cost of the group home. If SSI does not cover the entire cost, Regional Center will pay the difference. Supporting people as they decide how best to live independently is one of the ways Frank D. Lanterman Regional Center provides lifelong support for adults. For more information, please visit our website at lanterman.org or speak to your service coordinator about your options.